Hey guys, John Vapor Honing Technologies here. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about surface roughness, uh, materials that you're blasting, pressures, and of course the abrasives um, that all are going to determine a certain finish and a certain roughness on the particular part. So it really comes down to exactly what you're trying to accomplish uh, with a vapor honing system. And we have run hundreds of samples of data, wet versus dry. Uh, of course, different substrates. Up top we have stainless steel, and then down here we have titanium, and you can see the pressure differences between each. But what we have found through all of the data and testing that we have been running is that there are many different finish combinations and of course roughness combinations specifically for each material um, that you're blasting. Harder the material, softer the material, um, harder the abrasive, softer the abrasive, and of course edge profile of the abrasive as well determines the finish and of course the roughness of the part. Uh, but this data shows us here um, that 100 PSI and 40 PSI deem totally different results. I mean, you get totally different results between wet versus dry. Of course, that's always wet versus dry difference, but um, at 100 PSI and 40 PSI, there's still differences on the same material um, with the same abrasive blasting that surface, uh, both in the wet process and the dry process. I'm gonna come over here and you can see some of the data that we have here. On, this is the stainless steel sample. You can see the wet blast RA is 114.51, and the dry blast on the stainless steel RA value is 120.24. You can see the graphical representation down here, wet versus dry, and this is 100 PSI using a glass bead in the vapor hone blasting stainless steel. Um, so the proof is in the pudding. Um, we certainly have no reason to skew data. Uh, we have run this, again, on every different material you can think of, brass, aluminum, copper, stainless, titanium, um, and we're getting the same results. Wet's always normally going to be significantly lower as far as roughness is concerned versus dry. Um, and, of course, the abrasive that we're using um, is going to differ and make those results even much more different. If you're looking for data like this, and we can help you, um, then certainly give us a call or shoot us an email. Uh, we can show you what material we've blasted, what pressure, what distance, what a, you know, what abrasive we've used, and we've done this again on many, many different parts. But the dry blasting results here are on the right, and it's really hard to see by this image, but there are drastic differences not just from a finish standpoint, but also a roughness standpoint. That's one of the biggest things that we're after here. Um, there are processes in the world that only can use vapor honing. There are many other processes in the world um, that can use vapor honing, even though they're currently using dry blast. And I mean, all the data proves that you can use this. If you have a spec previously laid out, um, we can validate that we can, you know, withstand or withhold that spec, uh, or we can tell you that we can't. But either way, we're here to help. Give us a call, shoot us an email. Uh, we're always here and happy to help. And again, thanks for watching.